And, uh, welcome to my, uh, stream. Today we're going to be doing, uh, Yola's quest in Genshin Impact. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out, and we'll do it. Let's see what's... Actually, let's see what's going on with this. Oh, cool! I can unlock, uh, Aritako Ito's story quest. Oh, I don't meet the prerequisites. Never mind, I can't do that. Um... But whenever I get there, I can. Uh, and then, okay, that's just um, for. Oh, oh, I see. The, the, those are like their, their special names. Okay, yeah. Aritaki Ito and Goro Trous are there too. Okay, cool. Um, it's been a few days since I've logged into Genshin. This might be like older stuff, but. I was kind of taking a break to stream some other stuff. Oh, um, also, feel free to uh, check out my Discord if you're interested in joining. I think the link is down below. If I put it there. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Um, and also, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitch. Uh, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash twistermike. Uh, I'm also Twister Mike on YouTube as well. Feel free to check any of those out if you are uh, interested. Um... But, yeah, in a second here, we're going to go ahead and uh, get going with Yolo's story quest. Uh, but first, I'm going to, um, you know what? I'm going to make a singular pull on um, Ito's banner, because why not? I'm just going to log on to stream on my phone. I'm still waiting for my uh, new monitor. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to be just monitoring chat from my phone. Uh, okay. Okay, I have my phone set up. Um, Goro. Okay, Goro's on the banner as well. Okay, cool. Um... That makes sense why they put his uh, thing there. Over here. Over here. Yeah, I need to do that at some point. I haven't done that. Um... Oh, excellent! I got the fourth day of uh, Primo Gems from like a couple days ago or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's do Yola's story quest. I don't remember which one it is. Hold on, let me check. I'm gonna uh, check which one it is real quick. Not. Not equal. I want to know which one's Yola's. <laughs> Afros Delos. Okay. I don't see it. I don't think I already did it. Hold on. Maybe that's talking about like an event quest or something. Hold on. Oh, did they add new, um, I know they added those. I must be talking about Noel that I haven't reached out the endings for. Um, Yeah, okay, Afros, return to quest screen to view details. Did I miss it in the in the thing? Huh? Oh, 
Hold on, I'm looking up which one's hers. Um, did I already do it? That'd be really embarrassing if I already did it. <laughs> um... Oh, the Spindrift, okay. Okay, it's this one. Okay, that's confusing. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. It's called one thing in the, in the one menu, then it's called something else in the other menu. Okay. Okay, let's head over and do that. Stormbearer Mountains, okay. I don't know why, but my computer's loading kind of slow today. The, um, the Genshin stuff. Let me, uh, while that's loading, pull up my stream so that I can keep an eye on chat. Hey, welcome to the stream, uh, True, True Albert, True Albert. Oh, I, I think I did, like, the first part of this. I, I talked to Jean because I had to do that to uh, do Klee's quest, I think. Um, but other than that, I haven't really done anything, I don't think. Oh, this is a sick cutscene. You don't think twice before reaching for your sword, do you? Do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them first? Uh, mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Uh, what? Yeah, vengeance? I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could, only to find you two already fighting the Fatui. Not only that, you are making quick work of them, too. If I didn't make my move, 
You would have been able to take all the credit. Still, I'm glad you're unscathed. Confronting that number of Fatui at once can be dangerous. Yeah, that's like an average day for us, if I'm being honest with you. Hey, what's up, Austin? Uh, so uh, okay. Hello, friend, why would I be concerned for the safety of my arch enemies? Arch enemies, dude. dude like we just met. <laughs> Yeah, really. I meant if you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers guilty of stealing my targets all the way back to Mondstadt, which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. My vengeance would be swifter still. <laughs> what? So that's how you see all this? Yes, that's me. Paimon thinks she's pretty strange, although at least we can communicate with her. That's true. Uh, don't dare to call someone you've just met strange. Forget the aristocracy. That's rude even by normal standards. Speaking of which, how do you know my name? This is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favondus. And speaking of rude, we're trying to investigate an official cat named Hubert Morris. Oh, that's right. Who's obsessed with etiquette that he's not even willing to speak with us? We also tried talking to him before we left Mondstadt, and um, uh, he didn't want to talk to us for some reason. Um, and that's why we're looking for Yola. Um, I did that, like, a while ago because I had to do it to do Klee's quest because it was, like, you know, characters involved with this quest. You, you know how that is. <laughs> I understand now. It's my uncle, all right. Oh, it's your uncle. Why do you mean to investigate him? He may be secretly involved with a Fatui, apparently. Okay. <laughs> You have some nerve defaming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this, too. No, I like Yola. She's cool. Also, why... Well, like, why would she... Why would she interrogate her own... What did she say? Uncle? Why would she interrogate him? For the everyday citizens of Mondstadt, everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're known as the ruthless rulers of old Mondstadt. Ah. That explains it. What do you think of me? <laughs> Yet another transgression to avenge. <laughs> Here we are. We've only just met. And you've already given me three causes for vengeance. <laughs> it's been a while since I've encountered anyone as interesting as you. Your definition of curious is curious. Conduct of the Lawrence clan. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle, correct? Uh, sure, I guess. Right. Amber told us to come and talk to you. Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. Yeah, aren't you plotting her? For now. Oh, so we're, you, you, you're just gonna train me? And then I should comply. Okay, sure. I guess. I mean, I, I, I know, man. If you're, yeah. Thank you, Paimon. I agree with Paimon. Like, normally, normally Paimon says some stupid shit, but, like, in this case, she's right. Take a sip every... <laughs> Take a sip every time she says vengeance. That's funny. Finally arrived. 
There's no time to spare, so we'll begin with our first lesson. Wait, hold on. There's something we need to clear up first. Otherwise, it'll keep bugging us. Uh, yeah, you won't really take revenge on us, right? Lines, huh? Maybe you're the ones who can't let things go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. There's a time and place for exacting vengeance. Besides, I'm not in the mood for any right now. Let's save it for later. Okay. You need to be in the right mood for vengeance. I guess, I apparently. I have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin now, I'd have to start in the right order. Who knows how long it will be before I get to you. <laughs> well, if you have so much to take care of, wouldn't it just be easier to give us a clean slate? Absolutely not. Stealing my target, calling me a ruthless ruler, and suspecting my uncle. All worthy of vengeance in my eyes. <laughs> okay. But you needn't worry, at least not whilst we're investigating this matter. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase, a man of moral integrity fears no slanderous attack. If Uncle Shubo didn't commit any wrongdoing, then any such investigation will prove fruitless. Okay, but fair enough. If he commit a wrongful act, then he should bear the full punishment. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, that makes sense. Good. Now, there are two key points that aristocrats attach great importance to. Your manner of speech and your bearing. Let's begin with your manner of speech. Aristocrats have a very unique way of carrying conversation, even with mundane daily topics. Oh, Paimon's already learned some unique conversation. <laughs> Mark my words, vengeance will be mine! Yes, Paimon, that is obviously how aristocrats talk. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. And besides, it sounds strange. I think she did say that. You don't respect the rules of your own clan. No, I've no need to trouble myself with such frivolous formalities. Here, allow me to demonstrate. For example, when greeting a friend, you could say, As the morning dew greets the coming dawn, so do I greet you, my dear friend. Hmm. Uh, as the morning dew does what now? <laughs> However, such a phrase may only be used during the morning hours. Also, the party with whom you're speaking must be of approximately the same status as you. Okay. Morning dew is not uncommon, so it expresses that friendship should not be measured by value, yet also suggests that friendship between aristocrats is pure like water. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. It does seem like a lot of work. You know, a, a, a high is fine. Could easily offend them. Oh, goodness. Okay. You must know in the Lawrence family, dear friend is a set phrase that can only be used towards certain friends with whom one is acquainted, but not particularly close. So like acquaintances. It sounds much more pleasant to call an acquaintance a dear friend. So another thing to remember, aristocrats are concerned with faith and being polite. Okay. However, if you were to use dear friend to address an intimate friend, the recipients would think that you were deliberately trying to estrange them. So it's like calling a a friend an acquaintance is 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 what that's like. Okay. This is only the first step in making a greeting. After addressing one another, you then exchange courtesies. Courtesies? Not supposed to abstract. Um, perhaps it would be better if you gave some real life demonstrations. Yeah. Ah. Very well. Come with me. We'll choose some bystanders to converse with. Okay. That works. <laughs> Norman. Oh, you, you love the Lawrence clan, right? That can't be good. <laughs> <clears throat> you there, lowly laborer. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory okay. upon thee by the nobility. Uh, uh, oh, right. By solemnly kneeling to the ground with utmost sincerity. Uh huh. I can't make heads or tails of anything you say. 
Hold on. What did the letters teach me? Whenever a dispute arises, protection of your family's prestige and dignity always takes precedence. Hmm. Got it. <clears throat> As a lowly commoner, you shall maintain absolute reverence when speaking with those under which you so graciously toil. How dare you speak in such a manner? Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's just like some dude who's like a working class guy. Like he doesn't he doesn't care about that nobility crap. The days of the Lawrence clan's tyranny have long passed. I don't care what you're trying to do. Just beat it. <laughs> like I said, I don't care what you're doing. I have nothing to say to any member of the Lawrence clan. And here's a word of advice. I wouldn't be caught dead walking too closely with any one of their lights in Mondstadt. If that's all, I'll be going. I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself if we talk any longer. Wow. Hey, hey, don't leave. Uh, halt. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Wow. The Lawrence game really does carry a terrible reputation. I guess so. <sighs> Never mind him. I could have predicted as much. Let's find someone else. Okay. Oh. Where? Oh, over here. <clears throat> you there, lowly toiler. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility. Oh, jeez. Solemnly kneel to the ground with up. <sighs> huh? Why don't you respond? According to the custom, I must wait until you kneel completely before I can say the next word. Oh my goodness. Right. I mustn't look at you too long, or I'll be drawing more attention to our difference in status. Oh dear, I've already stared at you for quite a while. <laughs> Fine. You may spare yourself the formality of kneeling, as it may be a little inconvenient. I shall continue. I think there's a line for people with rude attitudes in this situation. Oh my goodness. Stop bothering me or else I might say something you wouldn't like to hear. And again, I've got no words for anyone from the Lawrence clan. Yeah, I, I think she's like stuck in tradition and everyone else is like moved on. What's with his attitude? Yes, I don't think his attitude will change. If I keep grandstanding like this, the outcome won't be good. Let's try to find someone else to talk to. I'll remember your unwillingness to comply. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. You there, lowly worker. I... Yeah, <laughs> I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our answer's always the same. There's really nothing a sailor likes as you. I mean, seriously, can't you just take a hint? Please calm down. We don't want to cause any trouble. Ah, uh, I know she's a knight of Fresonia, and that the knights wouldn't misplace their trust, but the name Lawrence carries too much weight with it. Even to this wow. day, the descendants of the Lawrence clan are still keen to reclaim Mondstadt and reinstate their aristocratic rule. Wow, people really hate the Lawrence clan. And if that wasn't enough, here you are purposely using your awkward way of speaking just to put on an act. Don't you care for the feelings of us ordinary folk? You have a point, but mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. <laughs> huh? You want to fight? Listen here, I may be no match for you, but I'll be sure to lodge a complaint with the Knights of Favonius. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just call it a day now. I want you to understand that I'm serious. Listen here, if you don't want things to get more unpleasant, then you'd better just stop. Forget it. There's no point in quarreling any further. Let's go. Okay. It's all right. This happens quite often. Let's find someone else to talk to. Uh, I don't think she's seen enough now. Let's just stop. Actually, <laughs> I must say she should apologize for asking you to demonstrate for us. We had no idea the feelings between the Lawrence clan and the people of Mondstadt were so bitter. Yeah, they really are. What can we do? The Lawrence name is already...
already a dirty word among every household in Mondstadt. Even three-year-olds know the story. I see this kind of attitude all the time. <sighs> Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Fragonia, they're usually willing to speak a few words with me. Mm, okay. The aristocratic manner of speech provoked some today. Believe me, it's not a big issue. So this is the way things are normally for you? There's no need for them to direct their anger at you personally. That's the way things yeah. are. Perhaps it's just fate for those who have made mistakes. Accepting punishment is only fair, right? But when your family has committed atrocities, I'm afraid there's no easy path to reconciliation. Huh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean... Yeah, that's that, that's a good point because like a lot of times you really don't have a lot of control um, in the situation you're born into. You know, you're just kind of born and like you're in a situation. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Um, fortunately for me, it's been very good, but I know for a lot of people, it's it's been not so much. So, yeah. At least I have a means of living a relatively normal life compared to the elders of my family. I have nothing to be discontented about. Yeah, that's a good point. If she knew she'd encounter these kind of problems, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vengeance either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Just think of it as something I like to do. But unfortunately, okay. we probably didn't learn much from those conversations. It seems we have no other choice but to find more people to talk to. Oh, there's no need. Besides, the traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing gets in our way on an adventure. I don't think she got the gist of it now. Yeah, I talking to average folk probably isn't a good idea. Maybe like someone from the Lawrence clan would help a decent bit, but <laughs> we'll just have to roll with it for now. Let's just keep Eula from getting any more of Well Yeah. I'm glad you learned something. You're already halfway toward mastering aristocratic conduct. A proper manner of speech is more aesthetic than anything else. It stems from their taste for refinement. But we must okay. also practice your bearing. I have a very effective way of training for this. Come with me to Dragonspine. Oh, we're going to Dragonspine. Okay. I mean, this this eggnog that I have is, is great. I I love eggnog. It's so good. All right. Um Don't fall on this trail. There's no impediment. Where? Aristocratic conduct training. Where am I? Oh, is this here? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Achieve the dignified conduct of an aristocrat. He must learn to remain composed and elegant even amidst harsh conditions. For example, you can see that part of the path up ahead is quite difficult to traverse. But a well trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward, but do so without a stain on their garments and their elegance fully intact. Hmm. Okay. I even think you've left the realm of aristocrats and entered the realm of adventuring. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, in a, in a, like, a real life aristocrat would not like really go through that barrier or or like be adventuring on a mountain or be in the cold. Compared to what we've already seen, They'd be like be painting in their house or something. <laughs> uh Yeah. This is where you can finally apply some of your adventuring knowledge. True, true. Remember, you must be graceful and elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most unsightly. <laughs> okay. I have to reach. That won't do. Oh. Close your shortcomings. Can I just not get hit by anything? Remember, you must. 
I just can't get hit by anything. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's an interesting challenge. This is an interesting twist on, like, a normal, like, uh, challenge. You know, normally it would be, like, just get to the end, but get to the end without getting hit. That's an interesting twist. Aristocrats? <laughs> Is that what she just said? A Christocrats? This scenario was relatively simple. In the face of a real battle, one would seldom have a chance to stop and evaluate the situation. There's a ley line monolith just up ahead that will attack a nearby monster. True elegance is the ability to calmly yet swiftly make decisions in the heat of battle. Okay. My family set only the highest expectations for me, even as a child. Let's proceed, shall we? Sure. No, this way, okay. This is the ley line monolith. Go ahead, activate it. But be careful not to get launched into the air or frozen while fighting. Oh no! Do it without f being frozen. Ah, crap. I, that was not a good idea to use Barbara. Uh, okay. You failed this time. What a shame. Ah, uh, no. That's horrible. It's just training after all. Let's try again. This is going to... I hate th this is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Oh my gosh. Alright, I think I'm gonna use Q and hopefully that kills the water guy. Alright, cool. So now I can't be frozen. And that'll help a lot. Okay, cool. Uh, oh gosh. No! Ah! That's horrible! Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, we'll just do this. Cause, uh, cause Kaking Burst go burr. All right, um, now we'll try fishling, um, sucrose. All right, cool. The water guy's dead. That makes us a lot easier now. Now we just have to, uh, kill this guy, which should be pretty easy. All right, excellent. I'm going to, I'm going to burst these guys. Get that out of the way. Okay. Nice! We got all of them. Excellent. That was tricky. Your performance was most impressive. Mm, my, hold on, my phone's caught. Alright, there we go. I have it, like, on my charger, and it, like, wrapped around the, like, arm of my chair. Okay. Uh, your performance was impressive. Calm, even in these grueling dragon spine surroundings. <laughs> Been starting to wonder if even I could have done the same. I don't think, uh, it's screaming like I did. It was remaining calm, but okay. True. So that's it for our training, right? Then let's go out of dragon spine before Paimon turns into a popsicle. Hold on. I was commending the traveler's performance just now. You, on the other hand, seem to have made no progress at all. Uh oh. You mean Paimon was also part of the training? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. 
Maybe the weather is just too cold here. Maybe that's not just not Paimon style. Not true. Paimon was just Oh, to keep us warm. Drink it and it'll help warm you up. I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon popsicle, that would ruin my plan for vengeance now, wouldn't it? So, I if that, if that could be the vengeance. You're strange. Vengeance should know no bounds, you know. Now then, given that your training is complete, it's time you return to Mondstadt. Our last step will be preparing a cordial gift to present to my uncle when you meet him. Okay. I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit at Good Hunter. Cool, cool. I'm sure everyone's probably crying about the 160 uh, resin that I have. I haven't used I haven't used all my resin in I don't know days. Probably since like last. Probably since like Sunday. Sunday would have been the last time that I'd have. Used all my resin. Oh, it's you. Over here. Over here. I'm just too busy streaming other stuff, so. Mm. Oh, finally, I caught you. Oh, crap. We're gonna have to do a little bit of another quest, cause this other quest, Sarah's involved in this other quest, so we're gonna need to do a little bit of this. So that we can get back to Yola's quest. Whoopsies! Sorry about that. I have something I'd like the Knights of Favonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's seeing you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. Well, I heard she has a lot of respect for you. Okay. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Dean? Oh yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the hill trolls. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale... She sounds so different right now than she does whenever she... ...responsible for selling us the ingredients. ...was, like, calling out to us. Um, okay. Uh, so you want us to clear the road? That would be great. Please ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Oh, help at last! With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Thank you. I just got a scam call on my phone. Seems like everyone. Or at least it said scam likely, so I sent it to voicemail. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles, the bartender, said he's been having some trouble too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? <laughs> True. Oh god, okay. Oh, hey you lot. All right, back to Yola's quest. Nice. Yep. We meet again, Amber. Things are just bad to run into you these days. True. Well, I just got back and was thinking about grabbing a bite at Good Hunter. Now that you're here, why don't we all eat together? Very sure. Nice. It's been some time since we've last shared a meal together. Come, take a seat. We can discuss my uncle's gift while we eat. Yes? Is there something else you'd like to order? Even here, she sounds way different than she did in that other cutscene. Like, what the heck, man? Could you please prepare a serving of my uncle's favorite? The Brotonist Slice Miss Sauerkraut. We'll take it as a gift to him later. Coming right up. <laughs> It'll take some time to prepare. I'll have it here at the counter once it's ready. Uh, hold on a moment. 
Is this satisfying salad also something that Amber ordered? No. Probably. She didn't oh. Order it. But because she didn't order any vegetables, I thought I'd throw in a salad on the house. You know, to contrast all the meat dishes. Man, I really wish that I'd like just go to a restaurant and not order vegetables and they just like give me a salad for free. That would be great. Actually, that does happen at some places. <laughs> at like say like I don't know, like 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 Outback or, or Texas Roadhouse or something like that, but um yeah, but it's it's more like as a side kind of a thing. I don't know. Anyway. So, they clearly didn't order this, yet you prepared it without. Oh order. my gosh. Mark my word. Yola. Instruction will not go unnoticed. Yola. Uh, you're gonna keep her baker and her for giving us a free salad? Yeah, really. That's what I'm saying. By now, that's the kind of villainous character I am. Well then, please wait a moment while I get the dish for your uncle started. Delicious unauthorized delicacies. Sarah will pay for this. How will she pay, Yola? How will she pay? Why would you choose to drop in a slice of sauerkraut as a gift for your uncle? Mama's never even heard that dish before. This dish isn't actually on Good Hunter's menu. Only long standing patrons such as my uncle would know about the dish. Huh. The old aristocrat seemed to take a liking to it. Because of the sour flavor of the sauerkraut, not too many people are fond of it these days. I guess it's become less popular over time. Dude, I love sauerkraut. What's she talking about? Sauerkraut's great. You are treating me to the dish. German food's good. Finish a bite. I've nicknamed it the Bratenist Slice Mitch Vengeance ever since. But like I don't know, man. German food's great. Like like like, like bratwurst. You, you bratwurst. You got like um, I don't even know. There's there's so many good German foods. Like that's crazy, man. Like like German potato salad. German potato salad's awesome. I like it way better than American potato salad. It's like it is like mustard in it. It's good. I never expected us to have such completely different tastes in food. If I weren't in such a good mood. I'd say that constitutes grounds for transgression. Wow, yeah, even Ember does. It's hard to find someone in Mondstadt that attracts contempt as much as she does. Really? Amber's like a happy-go-lucky person. But I'm afraid our honorary knight might misunderstand you. Yola's always talking about vengeance, but that's just how she is. It's nothing you should take too seriously. But I am serious, and I'll remember every transgression committed against me. It's no wonder so many people dislike me. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that you're actually a very good person. Yeah, she just yeah, jokes about transgressions. To say something nice. <sighs> Listen, you've never been labeled as a social pariah, have you? Social pariah? What does that mean? Uh, well, no. I guess social, like like someone who socializes a lot. Wouldn't understand how hard it is for a bad person to try to be good. It's impossible for me, and I have no intention of acting like a good person. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, no need to look so sullen. I'm just kidding. Come on, let's eat. The food is getting cold. That was a weird interaction. Okay. Oh, I'm stuffed. I'll see Sarah about the dish. No need. I've left the mora under the plate. If you try to settle it with her in person, she won't accept payment for the salad. Don't underestimate my ability to exact revenge. <laughs> Sarah won't get the upper hand this time. So, your revenge is paying her for the salad. <laughs> Alright, next you should pay my uncle a visit. He has a small camp at the top of a mountain near Springvale. He usually whiles his time away there when there's nothing else to do. There you go. I'm afraid that wouldn't be very convenient for me. It'd be better if you two went alone. Why is that? Uh, here, please do remember to pick up the dish from Sarah. Okay. I still have more recon to do in the wilderness. Well, until next time. Let's meet again. What an interesting bunch you are. <laughs> you could say that again. Uh, all right, talk to Sarah about the food. The Gabratinus sliced mix sauerkraut is ready to go. <laughs> Be sure to eat it while it's hot. Otherwise, the flavor will be spoiled. And by okay. the way, 
don't worry too much when Eula says strange things. She's actually a very good person. But we must get Mimi to ask. No one could stand the sight of Eula when she was trying to speak with the others at lunch that morning. Yeah, that's a good point. That's also a good point. What is up with that? <laughs> people of Mondstadt don't take kindly to anyone bearing the Lawrence name. They are okay. unable to see past her family. Therefore, they don't actually see Eula for herself. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That's a good point. That's fair. It's seen as a wrongdoing. It essentially strips the meaning of anything she tries to accomplish. Yeah, that's fair. It's important to judge people for being individuals rather than being part of a specific, like, say, group or family. Um... Yeah, that's that's a very good point. But how come they're able to see Eula differently then? Well, when she joined the Knights of Favonius, it caused quite an uproar. Many people signed a petition demanding that the Knights reverse their decision. Really? Wow. At the same time, numerous members of the Lawrence clan crowded the entrance of the Knights of Favonius headquarters, clamoring for Eula to give an explanation. That's crazy. The both sides were unhappy. That's right. So you can imagine how determined Eula must have been under such circumstances. But thanks to Grandmaster Varkas and the unwavering attitudes of others in the Knights of Favonius, they were able to quell the unrest. Tensions still remain beneath the surface, I'm afraid. In hmm. the eyes of the people, she's a stain on the Knights of Favonius. And in the eyes of the Lawrence clan, she's a disgrace to her family. Oh, so she, she doesn't have anyone. Okay. But she simply fulfills her duty as a knight. Silently helping one person after another, myself included. Huh. People like Eula should be approached with care and understanding. She could stand to be treated a little more fairly. I believe a day will come when things will get better. Once everything's settled, we can go talk to Eula again. My mom thinks we know how to communicate with her now. I'm okay. glad. I think that would make her very happy. Though she might not ever admit it. Take care. Please come again. All right, cool. Sounds good. Let's go. Uh, talk to uh, Uncle Mick. Uh, Money Pants. Oh, here he is. I don't know why he's just chilling in the middle of the woods. Yeah, that's a good point. And he also has money, and he's just chilling in the middle of the woods. Okay. Maybe. Ah, it's you again. I thought I had rid myself of you too. I'm curious who the voice actor is for that. That kind of sounds like um. No, I don't know. I was gonna say it kind of sounds like Colonel Autumn in um, in Fallout Three, but I could be wrong about that. Magnanimous. Yes, indeed, that is true. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm certainly not one. No, I don't think so. Minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. I have misjudged you. The Queen Zuia, the glory of the nobility that continues to this day. A true loyalist. Impressive. My intentions were to test your humility. It appears you have become well versed in our etiquette. Oh, so you were testing me. Hmm, what an idea. <laughs> your conduct is satisfactory. I must say, such progress in such a short time is practically unfathomable. If I may ask, from whence did you learn such a civilized manner of speech? Ah, 
good, very good. You are bright, and compared with the common folk of Mondstadt, you certainly have potential. If you were of aristocratic blood, your prospects would be promising indeed. That's the way we try to think. like to present you with a small portion of our goodwill. Huh? Did you give Ragnar Slyche his sauerkraut? It's evidence that your sentiment is genuine. As a young person nowadays, only with no small effort could you achieve such a gift. It's been so long since I dug into your big, tasty... I, I beg your pardon. What I mean to say is... Since it's nearly meal time, I shall <laughs> He he almost broke character there. Ah, oh, yes. This aroma, just as I remember it. And this exquisite sour flavor. Mm. A delicacy that only us noblemen and women could appreciate. Now or the Germans. I acknowledge your genuine goodwill. Such sincerity must certainly imply that you come bearing a request. Uh, wait, so you've come to know of this, too? It's meant to be a family secret. Hmm. Well, hmm. considering your meticulous etiquette, you must be a talent of unusual fortitude. I'm willing to place my full trust in you. Wow, just because I said a few fancy words and gave him some German food. Okay. Please, come with me. We happen to be in need of competent fellows like yourself to do some praying from a distant land. They have offered their assistance in restoring the Lawrence clan to its former glory. Friends from a distant... That sounds like Fatui is what that sounds like, friends from a distant land. Let's get going, shall we? You'll understand everything in due course. Okay. Do you think his friends are the Fatui? Oh, yeah, almost certainly. Things look as fishy if the Fatui happen to recognize you. What should we do? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, We'll have to figure something out. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe fight him? I don't know. That or, like, be a spy? Okay. Okay, be careful to make me a satisfying salad and I will process it for you to make it more durable. You know something I can't make sure I remember the last time I had it. Okay. Wait, this is this is for Oh no. Oh no. This is not Wait. Is this for Yola's quest? Okay. Guess I'll make a satisfying salad. I hope this is for Yola's quest. I'm not 100% sure that it is. Oh, I already had satisfying. Well, whatever. Now I have another satisfying salad. Talk to Flora. Where is Flora? Oh, Flora is the flower girl. Okay. There it is. Behold, a floaty imaginary 
friend for floating headed flora. A floaty floaty. No way. Imaginary friends can be plants now. <laughs> Hi, traveler. How did Venti get here? What is going on? Sure. How can I help? Hmm. Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. <laughs> you poor. Flora. <laughs> With a bloaty floaty. What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what's happening right now. <laughs> because then, when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You've got to admit that's pretty cool. Isn't that called being blown away? <laughs> <laughs> that's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was. Stanley. Do I know Stan? I don't know. I don't think I know Stanley. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Where did Vet? What? Child, shall we interrogate next? I'm on daydreaming. Oh, how about that? Oh, Flora was involved in that. Okay. Come on, Mr. Floaty. Let's water the. Uh, uh. Come on, Mr. Floaty. Uh. Characters involved in other quests. Do I do I need to do this for? Hold on. Hold on. Let me look up this equivalent exchange. I may need to. Do that to continue Yola's quest. I'm not sure. Okay, so somehow I got, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, okay. This is not related to Yola's story quest. At least I don't think it is. Unless I have to do this before I can continue it. Uh, Yola's story quest. Talk to Schubert at his camp in Springville. Then I'm supposed to enter a domain. Why didn't it take me to the domain? Hmm. Through motions, hold on, through motions, the heart. 
why did it take me to... Why did it take me to that wo random world quest? Whenever I, like, had the actual quest... That's so weird. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Um... Anyway, we'll continue with Yola's uh, quest. Go do the Schubert stuff. Yeah, we'll be fine without Cryo. On a mask all of a sudden. Hmm. Even if they are powerful, our status is much higher than theirs in the land of Mondstadt. And therefore, we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. I see. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was a, that was a good idea. <laughs> Introduce you as my guest. I have a funny feeling I might have to fight some of these for two. We'll moment, see. There are many already helping. I love how it changes to Kakang. That this area had already been purged once by the Knights of Favonius, but it's the only place around Mondstadt that is well concealed and spacious enough. I love how I changed to Kakang, who isn't wearing a mask. With hair and does not suit the tastes of the nobility. You simply have to make do for now. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, don't you offer any bad bits? Of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. <laughs> Moving hurriedly is unacceptable. As expected. Except the food. As expected. Uh, because we always see them around the city. Um, they must be. Nice save, Paimon. Nice save. Power and the ability to flaunt it. And if they are favorable business, hold it right there. Who's this? If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be held accountable by the Lawrence clan. But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I don't have time for this. Make way. No need to sound all high and mighty like that. I love how, like, me putting a mask on, like, they don't notice me. Like, it's like I'm Batman. <laughs> or, like, Superman or something. <laughs> Fine. You may proceed. There we go. We're heading in. Benefits of prestige. In past times, it would be a dire offense to speak to a nobleman in such a manner. Wow. You could determine a person's fate with the blink of an eye. <laughs> and such glory will return to me again before long. Okay, if you say so. So I guess he is involved with the involved with the Fatui then. Um, you know, considering we're here. This. We mustn't bring just anyone here. This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not wise to bring in an outsider at this time. Furthermore, there's been word that an outlander who joined the Knights of Favonius has been very active in Mondstadt recently. No, I've been very active in Inazuma recently. Get it right. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, my guest is well versed in the etiquette of the nobility. I must treat them with the proper mutual respect. The Knights of Favonius pay no regard to such details. They could never understand the intricacies of our etiquette. Except for me. I'm an honorary member of the Knights of Favonius. And what about this thing? <laughs> That's a good point. No one ever mentions Paimon. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Enough! You dare question my word? Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Monsac possible? Without the True. support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. True. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friends. You've offended their honor. Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, okay. the repair. Did you bring the diagram of Monstak's defenses as promised? Oh my god, they're planning an attack. Okay. so squiggly and crooked a and what is this shape supposed to be excuse me i'll have you know that i went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself that shape hmm. is the symbol of the knights of favonius huh i see crude but i can make do are you able to verify that this is all reliable information of course you needn't worry about that don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Oh, he's trying to recap. He's trying to get the uh, Fatui to help him take over Mondstadt. Right wow, that's right. crazy. As well as the whole of Mondstadt belong to the Lawrence clan. That's crazy. We'll both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. We will make good use of the intel you provided. Also... Be certain not to divulge our identity. There would be diplomatic consequences, you know. Yeah, it's so. I I feel like the Fatui could definitely backstab this man like that. Like that Fatui guy right there, he, he could probably kill that nobleman. If I'm being honest with you, just use the nobleman and then kill him. That's what I would do. Worry, if I was a Fatui. is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. Then, the city and all its people will once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. <laughs> Ex to doubt. Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. That is all for now. Very well. Huh? What are you doing? That's right! It's the honorary knight and your distant companion, Einar! We are here to put your evil schemes into death! Good! I, yeah, I think they. <laughs> True. After so much planning, this is how it ends. Huh. We'll see about that. No, no, that was a cool quest. Like, like, like we investigated them. We went in and spied on them. Never trusted these foolish aristocrats. No matter. We already have the intel we need. Get them. Okay. Excellent. Oh, so this is a dead end? Like, I, I... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see what's over here. I want to see what's over here. I ain't nothing. Paimon was right. I should have listened to Paimon. That's Yola, huh? Don't touch me. Get out of my way. I'll leave on my own. Wow. We finally caught up with you. 
This place is crawling with fatigue. There were uh two that I killed. Actually, Yola. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. Aha! I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasantries. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans. It's all for naught now. I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you were well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a knight of Favonia, I could not overlook your actions. Knight of Favonia's? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. That was the past. Defeat every knight of Favonius here and leave with me. Then I shall plead with the family to spare you and give you a new beginning. So just to be clear, you want a knight of Favonius to attack the knights of Favonia? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I shall say this one last time. You are not a knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. The blood of the Lawrence clan. Oh my god, look at that finger. You must comply with the will of the family. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Why, you... You unruly maid. If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. True. Have you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Have you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? True. You dare lecture me! That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert. I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Wow. Oh, the disgrace of it all. How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? <laughs> Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Our life is the elegance seemed to have gone out the window. Oh, true. Enough fuss for today. True. Thank you. Take him away. The honorary knight and I have other matters to attend to. Yeah, that's a good point. All of that uh, high, um, you know, high, high and mightiness of um, being a noble just kind of went out the window as soon as they uh, started fighting. Given that you've already taken action, I assume you've come across some conclusive evidence? Tyrant has a piece of the diagram. Their uncle had mapped out all the night's patrol routes and marked out key information about Mondstadt. And there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. Okay, get the diagram. Oh, oh, cool. I'm playing as Yola. Oh, excellent. Nice. Oh, so now I can go through that door. Okay. Oh. Yo, Yola's cool. I like Yola. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get her on her um, on her banner, but like, I wasn't gonna spend money on her. So, you know, it is what it is. I think uh, Aritako Ito is kind of cool too. Uh, that uh, that, that that new guy that just came out. Must be. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Shut up. 
Dude, your ult is great. I'm digging her. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can do about this guy. Nice. Just, I absolutely love the uh, the freeze combo. Like, it's nice. Like, like, whenever you get someone wet and then just, just ice. Like, like, that's amazing. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's keep going. I've always said we recommend you have ice in here. Meanwhile, they give you an ice character. Uh, hello. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe I'm supposed to go up there. Apparently not, or at least not on this side. Let's try the other side. What am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, oh my god. Okay, that's what it was. It was just a platform that I didn't see. Okay. Uh, no, there isn't. Uh, yes, I do. Dude, your is good. Maybe I should have tried harder to get her. Oh well. It is what it is now. Maybe if she has a uh, third rerun like Child, I'll, uh, I'll try to pull for her. Must be it. 
They may very well have already made a copy of us, but without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. The security wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. Right. True. But if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. True. The security are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. Their opposition wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. That's true. That's a good point. Anyway, I'll inform the acting grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Suddenly appeared at just the right moment. Yeah, about that. Because <laughs> you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier. I she tracked us. Vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. <laughs> So by extracting vengeance, she um is nice to people. <laughs> you sense that something might have happened to us during our investigation. You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look. That's true. Oh, this was vengeance. Don't push the story. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming, and mark my words, I'll remember that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you don't. Just you wait. Amnity. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. Bring it on! Yeah, we're arch enemies, and we'll help each other all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Pavonius and take it from here. Not to steal my targets next time. Oh, don't worry, we will. So is that the, uh, I guess that's the end of Yola's quest? I'm gonna check to see if there's any goodies. Nope. Maybe on the other side? Nope. Ooh. Glad I checked. Maybe I should double check the other side just to be sure. Since I, like, actually found something. I wasn't expecting to find something. No, okay, there's actually nothing on the other side. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head back. And I guess that is, uh, the end. I guess that's the end of Yola's quest. That was, uh, that was kind of short, but, uh, it was enjoyable. I, uh, I, I really like that quest. Uh, it, it was better than Albedo's. Albedo was just, like, studying us the whole time, and I was like, dude, I, I could not care less. Um... But this was, uh, this was good. This was, uh, very good. Let me double check to make sure that we, um, completed everything. Yeah, okay, yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we did everything. Okay. Um, well, I think, um, I think considering we just finished that, uh, this might be a good time to uh call the stream uh and it'll give me some time to do my dailies use some resin um and yeah we will do some more uh we'll probably do some more genshin next week um i'm not entirely sure what maybe some more archon quests maybe some um some more character quests i don't know i have i have a lot of quests to do and i'm not entirely sure uh which one I want to do next. I'll maybe think about it a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe some Archon stuff because because we do need to get through some of that Archon quest. Um, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do some of the Archon quests probably, but um, that or maybe character quests. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll think about it a little bit and I'll make an announcement on my um Discord with with what I decide. Um whenever I post the schedule there for, uh, next week. 
Um, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in checking out my Discord, I have a link down below. I post my schedule there. I post announcements there as to when I'm streaming, what I'm doing. Feel free to check that out. Um, follow me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash twistermike. Check out my uh, YouTube channel. I'm Twister Mike on YouTube as well. I also have a Clips channel, Twister Mike Clips. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in uh, seeing me stream, uh, next week I'm going to be doing Pokemon Coliseum on Monday, Castle Crashers on Tuesday, um, Wednesday is going to be Halo Infinite, and Thursday is going to be Morgenshin. Uh, and they're all at 8 p.m. EST. If you're in a different time zone, figure out what time that is, because, you know, I'm, I'm just saying what it is in Eastern Standard Time. Um, and, yeah. Um, I might do something over the weekend. I don't know what. Maybe, like, some Goose Goose Duck or something. I don't know. I don't have anything planned. Maybe some, like, COD Zombies. I don't know. We'll see. If, if, I, if I play something that I think will be fun to stream, I'll stream it. But, uh, if not, I won't. Um... But, yeah, with that being said, um, check out my YouTube, check out my Twitch, check out my Discord, um, and I'm going to sign off, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks uh, so much for watching. Uh, peace.